Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also welcome to my new studio but it's very far from being finished to be honest it's a complete mess right now but the good news is it's finished enough so I've been able to start working here I cannot wait to show you a finished studio tour, but what I can show you right now is how the studio was built. So I'm going to rewind to the summer of 2021. Let's go! We built the studio from scratch on raw land without any utilities to begin with. The first problem to be solved was the lack of water supply on the property. Why was that so urgent, you might ask? Well, step number one in the process of building the studio was the concrete foundation. The foundation was poured, then we had to leave it to cure for one month, and it was important to keep the concrete from drying out during that time. This was quite a challenge, because we were in the hottest and sunniest month of the summer, and because there was no water supply on the property. I needed to move there two barrels of water every couple of days. I don't know if or how I would have been able to solve this problem without my mom, but she was a true hero as always and helped me out with the water logistics. <laughs> Now, I want to take just a minute to mention these little bastards. There was initially a small group of maybe two or three young acacia trees in one corner of the property. Honestly, an acacia tree was something I absolutely didn't want here, so I had them cut down. As soon as we did that, acacia started to take over this huge area it grows rapidly, and I spent a lot, and I mean a lot of time, trying to get rid of it, even involving some heavy machinery to take out the roots. Anyway, while I was struggling with the acacia, the curing time of the concrete foundation was up, so we could finally start actually building the studio. Huge credits are due to a very dear friend of mine who helped me build the wooden frame of the cabin and by helping I mean that he did do most of the physical work.
After we were done with the wooden frame, we let the professionals handle the rest, like the roof and the insulation. I do not have any footage of that, but I can show you some short clips, so you can see the milestones. Now it was time for me to take matters into my own hands again, and I prepared for painting the walls. First I laid down some plastic sheets to protect the flooring, then I tried sanding the walls as well as I could. I admit, the results were far from perfect, but I just lost my patience. Anyway, finally, I got to start the painting work itself. I have now finished two coats of paint on two of the walls. Uh, it's kind of dark, I don't know if you can see anything. And then I have done one coat on the third wall. And this is not going to be painted white, so I'm saving it for last.
Now about the windows. I have one huge newly purchased window and two smaller ones that are salvaged. I dreaded the thought of having to clean the two old ones and failing. Fun fact, there used to be windows in a car factory until they had been taken out years ago and stored somewhere, I don't know where. But I got them for free. They were in a pretty nasty condition and I was not entirely sure that I would be able to properly clean them and make them look okay. I cleaned and repainted the frames and installed new handles. Now I don't know how well it shows on camera, but I have to say the difference is spectacular. And finally, the one last box that had to be ticked off. Installing the electric outlets. Now I have electricity inside, which means lights and heating. Like I said, this studio slash workshop it's still not completely finished, and it's really messy at the moment, but at least it's functional. And I'm very, very grateful to everyone who has helped me in making this dream a reality. I hope you enjoyed this little documentary, and please stay tuned for the complete studio tour, which I will do my best to make happen as soon as I can. In the meantime, feel free to check out my other art-related content. And yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks very much for joining me today, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye!